Hello and welcome to All About Stocks. Today we're going to be going over AGNC. And but first, uh, I'd like to go over some uh, some of my uh, promotions that I do uh, have going on, or that I do have on my uh, my links. Uh, first, uh, we do have PayPal. Uh, some of y'all do or do not know about PayPal. Uh, if you do click on the uh, link I have down below, if uh, you click on it, then and you do buy, uh, it's your first time to buy crypto on PayPal using my link below. You buy uh, your first $5 of crypto, you get crypto, I get crypto, you can also use your link and have other people to uh, buy crypto and then you can use it to get other people to uh, help you out to get crypto as well now also Robinhood is getting giving away three free stocks if you sign up with uh, Robinhood I know Robinhood's fell out of uh, Robinhood's fell out of favor with a lot of uh, people here lately however if you do decide to sign up with Robinhood and you do sign up with my uh, link below then you can get three free stocks with my link below as well with Webull they're using four free stocks with my link below uh, if you don't have a uh, Robin Hood or a Webull account it is a great way to go ahead and get free stocks and it does help uh, it does help promote this channel and allows me to keep on giving you great content now going ahead and uh, jumping into AGNC now um, let, let's go ahead and give you a great analysis with this AGNC they go by AGNC investments or ticker symbol is AGNC that's why I keep on calling them AGNC as I can go by their ticker symbol you'll probably hear me Call uh, most companies by their ticker symbol. It's easier for me to remember their uh, ticker symbol. Now, uh, I I keep on uh, or I, I go by the found price. Uh, a lot of companies I remember them with their found price, and uh, I, I try to keep with up to date prices. But uh, I, I do remember them when I first initially found them, and. Uh, like uh, AGNC, I believe they're at uh, 1780 currently. When I first found them, you do see they're at uh, 1460. So they're just a little over their one year high, which that's pretty good for uh, AGNC. Uh, if you haven't noticed, a lot of people are saying that uh, the stock markets had inflated, uh, historically inflated prices. I would. Uh, tend to agree with that since uh, AGNC's had uh, all-time high prices or their one-year high and if you go back uh, within five years a AGNC tends to be at their uh, all-time high prices with that now if you do look um, at their dividend uh, well this is uh, 1.44 uh, percent or I'm sorry, 1.44 uh, for the year. If you divide it out, it comes out to uh, it comes out to 12 cents um, per month, and it's a monthly dividend. Now they're a RET dividend, so that means that they pay out 90% of what they do make. Now uh, their monthly assets. Uh, we we do. I, I'm sorry, not monthly. It's quarterly assets. Now they're quarterly assets. They're they're uh, quarterly over quarterly. They are growing uh, steadily, growing actually. Now uh, we uh, I, I did take their quarterly assets over their liabilities, and this is uh, the current ratio, and you just divide it over. Uh, current assets divided by current liabilities 
and that's why I just put the assets over the liabilities and you just get 1.15 and if you just I'm just gonna scroll down scroll down here and anything between uh, 1.2 and 2 is uh, pretty good and the lower you go that's uh, that's gonna be on the bad side and uh, if you get too high that's gonna be an inflated number and that's gonna be a little bit worse so you want to stick between that 1.2 and 2 number so uh, I'm trying to go through this a little fast uh, I have to stick within a 10 minute window as window between uh, everything here so uh, now uh, once again I just did the uh, total assets and total liabilities and then uh, you d you subtract those to get your shareholders the total shareholder equity and when you get that um, it's it's just a ratio it, it says um, and they're uh, they're they're positive so that's a good thing if they're negative that's when you run into problems now the shareholder equity ratio that's when you just divide the assets minus a, or divided by the ratio and less than 50 percent that's when you start running into debt problems so debt to equity you want to see that um, let's see here uh, 1 to 1.5 now they're on the high side 6.5 um, so you want to stick with 1 to 1.5 so they they can pay off their debt so they're good so I wouldn't say uh, they're having any problems but you do want to stay uh, 1 to 1.5 but they shouldn't be having problems with debt now uh, we're gonna look at net income here their net income is uh, 900 or I'm sorry 900 975 million so you do know they have income coming in and once again I just brought shareholder equity over here so you could do a return on um, equity so you're just dividing their income by shareholder equity now that's just a uh, 15% return as compared to revenue so you're shooting for 15% for a good number uh, this is 8.5 so let's round it up to 9 so you're still in a good number here um, any lower I'd be kind of worried but around 9% I'd say that's probably a still a safe number um, current share price I, I said I think 1780 but 17.71 that's still pretty good um, I, I couldn't find any treasury shares so I just went ahead and uh, I used the uh, outstanding shares I found and they were using uh, 0.01 for their company share price and the uh, book value per share um, now this is uh, I'm gonna hold on and pause for a second here so until I can figure out how to do a little bit longer of a video I'm just gonna go ahead and do a uh, part two to this video I do apologize um, so I'm gonna wrap it up at book value per share and just go ahead and make a part two to this video uh, I do apologize I, I'm sorry I'm still trying to figure out how to do a part or a longer video than uh, in just 10 minutes so uh, stay tuned and I'm going to go ahead and make a part two uh, sorry and uh, I'm, once again I'm trying to figure out how to do uh, longer videos uh, so please uh, check in for part two and uh, I'll see you there